Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Pixie Cold. And I have already opened up an A4 project um, and I've rotated it 90 degrees so it is landscape. And I have also taken a photo of my daughter's eye and um, I have used the polygonal mask tool to go quite closely around it. Um, to mask off just the eye and then I'm control C to copy it control V to paste it into my project and then I'm going to resize it using the arrow tool and I'm going to have it just a little bit over to the left because I'm going to be adding elements in on the right hand side so I'm not going to place it entirely centrally okay Right, next up, I'm going to image adjustments, black and white, okay. So it's black and white, and then image adjustments, brightness, contrast. And I'm gonna whack up the brightness and whack up the contrast and click okay. And that's gonna give me more of a kind of line drawing, if you will. Okay, I'm then gonna merge this layer down onto the background layer as it helps with the next step. Right, then I'm going to go to the magic wand and I'm going to select everything around the eye. Okay, and then I'm going to go select inverse and that's going to select just the eye. Then I'm going to go select, modify, contract and I'm going to contract it by 30 pixels. Okay, and you'll see my mask has gone into the eye by about 30 pixels. I then select inverse again, and what I have is the background and that 30 pixels um, selected. I then go to um, filter, blur, and Gaussian blur, and then I can mess around with the slider, and it just blurs where that 30 pixels is. And you can see that better if I take the mask off. There you go. Okay, right, so that's the eye ready to go. Now we need to start adding some color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new layer and drag that underneath the eye layer. And then the eye layer itself, we want to be able to see the color. So we need to use the drop down menu on the eye layer and go to multiply. And that means the eye layer is going to be kind of transparent while we add the color okay and then I'm going to fill the bottom layer just with plain old white so it's a completely white layer and then grab some colors red to start with and the brush and just start painting in where we want there to be color around the eye so a bit of red in the corner there grab some blue, maybe make my brush a bit bigger, make life a bit easier. There we go. And I don't need to be too neat. It's just about roughly getting in. I want to try and avoid getting into the white of the eye though. So I'm just going around the edge. That's enough blue. Get some hot pink. Why not? Plop that in too, bit there, bit over there, bit up the top as well I reckon, once I've done this, just there, okay, and I think I'm going to get the red back. Just go a bit smaller again, like I was in the beginning. Just put some highlights in, maybe along the rim of the eye, a bit down below. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and then I think one more colour, a bit of green uh, in the corner of the eye, just around there, and then. Is 
some along the top, a bit down the bottom. And that will do for the colour. And now we go for filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And again, we're upping the blur, testing it out, seeing how much blur we want. Obviously we want the colours to blend, but not so much that we wash them out. That will do. Okay. Right, and that's the colour around our eye done. Now we're going to start adding some drips, I think. So I've got some drips here that I've already taken a background off of by using the magic wand. I'm just going to take a few of these drips and control C and then control V onto my piece. Make sure that this layer's at the top. It's easier to drag it around then. And we're just placing it for now. Don't need to worry about blending it yet. Then we'll grab another bit. These ones here. Same again, control C and control V. And plot those there. And then we'll go back again one last time and grab those three and plop those in too just over here okay right next up we then want to merge these together so we select all three layers right click merge layers and the drips all go onto one layer and this is going to allow us to work on them together. I'm going to be honest with you here, there's something about using the blend tool on Photopia whilst using Screencastify to copy your screen that does not agree with the blend tool. It is very difficult to use the blending tool whilst making a tutorial. So bear with me, I'm doing my best to blend these as smoothly as I can. Luckily, it's not the end of the world if they're a little bit shoddy because we're going to be moving these underneath. There we go, the eye. There, that kind of, uh, in the end, it makes quite a nice effect. Okay, all right. Now we're going to change our eye and remove the cornea and put in our picture. So first thing I'm going to do is separate the pupil. So I'll use the ellipse select, control C, control V. So I have the pupil on its own layer. And then I'm going to grab the ellipse select tool on the eye layer and take out pretty much all the cornea. Press delete and get rid of that, okay? And I've got this picture of a power station. I googled power station and this is a nice picture that came up. Control C, Control V and I'm going to just resize that so that it fits into the cornea or at least the, the part of the image that I want in the cornea fits in. Then I'm going to go back to the eye layer and use the magic wand to select that bit that I just deleted and then go back to the picture I just put in layer, select inverse so it selects everything around the eye and press delete and that gets everything gone except for the image in the cornea okay and I'm going to stay on that layer and I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to use inner glow and the settings to make it so that the edge of the picture blends into the pupil but you might find that you have a little white line around the image from where you deleted so you might also want to add a stroke to that layer 
and I'm just going to make it 5 pixels click OK and that kind of gets rid of any kind of issue alright now I want to make my image a little bit more colourful a bit more bold so on the image layer I'm going to image adjustments hue saturation and I'm going to whip up the saturation and whip down the darkness a bit so that it feels like it's within the eye almost reflected in the cornea okay another thing I'm just going to do quickly is just put an outer glow on this just so it properly blends into the cornea on the, around the outside okay you don't always have to do this but I feel like I want my picture to really sit within the cornea well okay lastly at the moment my pupil has a bit of a hard edge so I'm also going to give that a bit of an outer glow bring the noise down I think size down noise down and it's just to make that edge a little bit blurry so that you don't have a really hard edge on your pupil and then I press OK and I've just noticed this rather annoying line that must have come with the drips so I'm just going to mask that off press delete there we go gone okay now we're going to add some coloured splats around our eye and so I found this um, splats for free it's a free PNG just type um, paint splats and you'll find it paint splats PNG and I control C control V it in and I'm going to place it to start with place a bit of it here like that don't worry about it going over your eye for now and we don't want it to be black so we're going to go image adjustments hue saturation and we're going to bring the brightness up okay so it goes to kind of gray and that's going to allow us to then do image adjustments color balance and just whip up the red so it goes red doesn't matter if we don't want it red at the moment then we can go image adjustments hue saturation again and whip up the saturation right up and that turns them a nice bright red and it's at this point you can worry about lightness and dark things like that and if you don't want them to be red you can mess around with the hue so I think I'm going to have mine kind of I think matching the pinky colour yeah something like that okay that's good okay and then obviously we don't want those bits over the eye so we're going to grab the eraser tool and just rub those bits out okay so any bits that are over the pupil or the white of the eye is just going to get rid okay and then we can drop that below the eye layer and that kind of blends them in a bit which is really nice okay then we're going to right click duplicate layer and we're going to grab that and we're going to bring it down and spin it and put it down here in the bottom right hand corner that's it Okay, and we don't really want this to be hot pink so we're going to go image adjustments hue saturation and we're going to change the hue again see what color works best this is a fun bit you can work out what color you want make it a bit darker a bit less or more saturated choice is yours click OK OK Right, and we can bring that down to below the eye so that it blends it a bit. And that is where we're going to end the first part of this tutorial. Um, I'll see you in part two.